They need 19 feet, so uh, what I did is uh, I said one in the middle. And he said he only needs three sticks, so 19 feet. So I put one in the middle. How do I know this is in the middle? This is my marker light. My marker light represents the center of my bed. That's not always the case on every trailer, but most trailers, the marker light, give or take, is in the center of the bed. I also know that if I put it here and it's in the center, it helps the fork, the loader to center the load. It tells him where I want the load. And it also is not gonna get in the way of his forks when he goes to put 
put the load down. It won't get in the way of either fork or the left or the right. It's going to land right in the middle. You know, many a times you'll put a piece of board down and you'll see that the guy will put a fork down and your board is in the way. Well, this right here is the centerpiece. So this is going to be in the center between his forks. And then I got 19 feet. I counted seven going that way and seven going that way. That's 14 feet. That gives me a little overhang. We'll sit here and we'll wait till it's time to get loaded. It's a beautiful, bright, and sunny Sunday. It's about 40 something degrees uh, down here in Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh. Um, we're down here in Pittsburgh, Indiana. And uh, it's a flat better's dream today's weather. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, the sun is out. It's a new day, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new day. Back in business, uh, I know the spring is coming. I, I picked up my uh, I picked up my adjustable headache rack from the shop. Uh, went and got them. I'm back in business with that. Man, I got so much to talk about with you guys. I just got to figure out, uh, you know, how to talk about it. Anyway, that's what it is. Let's get in the driver's seat. Let's wait our turn and make it happen, Captain. Yeah, sunny 48 degrees in Pittsburgh. I call this the pit. <laughs> it's the pit. And despite how many hours I have to come here, I really don't mind coming here because uh, I use that as downtime, sleep time. But I love coming here on like, you know, overnight or here you go on a Sunday. One truck behind that guy right there, and I'm in there for all y'all complaining about waiting times and things like that. It is what it is. Complaining about it ain't gonna make it go no quicker. Getting angry about it ain't gonna make it happen faster. Cursing anybody out. Expressing your feelings about the wait really, in my opinion, don't make it go any faster either. So. I signed up for it, it is what it is. At the end of the day, I work for the Father and I'm talking about God, I'm talking about the man upstairs. So, if I have any complaints, I'm gonna take it to him. So, I have to think about that. Am I really gonna, am I really gonna complain? Nah, I'm not taking those type of complaints to the Father. So, all of that said, it's your boy Choice Man. I dropped my wife off at Baby, when I drop you off. Do we do we take the the shower cap? Um, oh, I'm like <laughs> I have everything. I'm always late. Late. You know that's why they stop telling me jokes at work. They stop what? They stop telling me jokes at work. Because you get the punchline late? So late. <laughs> or I, I'm so late. I have no interest. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. She laughed an hour later. <laughs> uh, that's my wife. 4.45. 4.45 this morning at uh, Indiana International Airport. She is officially back home for the Super Bowl. I will be right behind her. I'll be home this Friday. You know I'm gonna take y'all with me through the week, uh, do my best. You guys are gonna see some new things on the channel as you have been seeing. I'm not gonna say what they are. you see them when you see them. Nonetheless, thank you. Thank you to all those, thank you. Thank you to all the official subs that stick with me, that cake with me, that grind with me. Um, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. Love y'all. Love y'all, man. <laughs> I can't say enough, it means everything. Keep it up. Stop the clock. And all that other good stuff. I'm with y'all, like y'all with me.
Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about it. <laughs> what did I do today? I did chains and I did straps. Uh, I'm heavily secured today because I'm just short of 80,300 pounds. I think I'm 79.7. We'll find out when we get up to the scale, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I want to be sure that when I'm hitting them ramps, them 25 mile per hour turns when I got these four wheelers that don't want to jump in front of me and get on the phone because they think that our lane or the slow lane or the traveling lane is the phone call lane or let's watch a movie lane with the kids in the back seat. I want to be secure. I want to be sure I want to have a peace of mind. I don't want to have to think about it. I don't want to even have to question it. If there's a question in my head, then I'm doing something wrong. I always have to think, and I said it before, if my daughter was driving up beside my flatbed, would I be okay with it? That said, let's go through it. We got a round bar. Let's tackle one of the first questions. No edge protectors because this is a soft, edge soft edge or soft edges are what i call soft edges are round edges beveled edges edges that are not harmful to my straps soft edges are not harmful to straps hard edges are so i have no edge protectors on here because they're soft edges let's go through the weight uh we got one two three straps over the top then we got one two three chains over the top we got one two chains over the bottom now counting these chains these are belly wrapped so we really got three chains over the top and one belly wrap over the top i got two chains over the bottom and one belly wrapped on the bottom why don't I belly wrap the whole load at once? Because I have a much secure belly wrap doing just the bottom and the top. I can't pull the load down, the four by four is in the way. So that's compromising my belly wrap. So yes, I could do the whole load together, but I don't want to. I want to be sure that the bottom is secure all by itself. I want to be the I want to be sure the top is secured all by itself. How did I belly wrap it? I went on uh what did I do? I went over, under, back over again. So not only is it pulling it together, it's pulling it down. So there's downward pressure and it's pulling it together. If these things want to thrust forward, they're belly wrapped. Steel on steel, ladies and gentlemen. If I could do steel on steel, I will. Have you seen me do straps on steel? Yes, you have. Because I explain all the time, it is not illegal to do straps on steel. Is it a great idea? It's not the best idea, but nonetheless, you can do it. Uh, one of the reasons I definitely went with chains today is I, because it's round bar. And I don't know if it's true or not, I didn't even hear it. My logic tells me the round bar is gonna slide even easier out of my securement than the square bar. I don't know, that's my logic. I could be wrong. I'm sticking with it though. So it is what it is. Here in the pit, we're about to hit Wilkesboro, Wilkes Bar, Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. I had to break out a ratchet. 
<laughs> yes. Man, I got six. I got six easy binders. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I didn't have to break out a ratchet. Oh, you. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, yes, I did. Six easy binders. Two, three, four, five, six. I got six easy binders. No. I got some snaps. I didn't use a snap. Uh. I'm, I'll do a video on the snaps, but not not right now. So that's it. If any of y'all are wondering why I'm carrying all of this dunnage, it's because uh, sometimes I go to these shippers and receivers, and hell, like I was just in Indiana. Where was I? I forgot where. I just delivered in Indiana. These dudes had dunnage, and you could tell they didn't care nothing about it. It's just sprawled all over the site. You know, I had to move it to back into the island. So I asked him, I said, hey, what you got to do with this wood? Uh, and, uh, you could take it. Matter of fact, his exact words is, you could take anything you want. <laughs> I started laughing like, yeah, you really care about your job, huh? But nonetheless, he's a good dude. Shout out to Travis, man. He's a good dude. I appreciate what you said to me. Um, I appreciate the exchange we had. Nonetheless, I take these 4x4s four four and I go home with them. Um, I do woodwork and I'm doing a lot of renovation in my house. So these 4x4s four is coming with me. I can plane my own wood. Um, I can mill my own wood. So nonetheless, that's why you see all this dunnage all crazy. Uh, coming back out, I will have just as much dunnage as the company left me with, which is six to eight pieces. Um, but all the rest is coming home with me, and I love every minute of it. Hey, y'all be cool, stay fresh, put God first. You know what it is, choice mass all the time. in the way.
Okay. Oh, he's cutting it close. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, is that actually, that's not a scale we pull on to over there. That one over there? Oh yeah, behind the, uh, in the yard? It's the old one. Oh, okay. They don't use, they don't really use that one anymore unless like over here, something's going wrong. If yeah. If scales aren't working, then they have you go back over there. Gotcha. I don't know if I'd ever want to be in that one though. It looks really cramped. Right. Right. Exactly. 80,000. Oh, it's going to be a hard, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good one, all right? All right, you too. Till next time. All right, and enjoy this beautiful day. I'm trying to tell you it's a flatbedder's dream. It's not too hot, not too cold.